Maker Faire. It's for the young and the old. It's full of exciting new technologies as well as the machinery of quainter times. It's got design, crafts, Tesla coils, model warships, velocipedes, pyrotechnics, steam engines, and yes, robots. Lots and lots of robots. Maker Faire represents the diversity of do-it-yourself culture and celebrates the singular pleasure of creating something with your own two hands and maybe a soldering iron or a sewing machine. As core conference founder Brad Nye says, this fair is all about creativity. Basically people coming together and sharing their creativity and, and doing things that um, excite people and, and, and enlivening the spirit of creativity is something that I'm really, I'm really about igniting creativity and seeing how that, the, the spark of creativity ignites uh, people around that. And so we're seeing art and community here at its best. Along with that creativity come hordes and masses and swarms of people of all kinds. There are representatives of the SCA, that's the Society for Creative Anachronism, a medieval reenactment group. There are folks who bring Burning Man to life each year in the Nevada desert. You can find steampunks in top hats rubbing shoulders with suburban families. This is an event that's made for everyone who loves to see and celebrate the creation of cool stuff. For example, this group makes model boats, but they don't stop at making them. They outfit them with tiny cannon, put them in the water, and stage miniaturized versions of naval battles. And the R2 Builders Club, which is made up of hardcore Star Wars fans, has replicated the magic of everyone's favorite pint-sized droid. One of the coolest robots we saw is this vehicle. The Mondo Spider is a 1,700-pound, zero-emissions walking vehicle, and it's the first of its kind. It's about the size of a small car, but it's as wide as it is long. It can travel between two and three miles per hour, and it runs on a 48-volt lithium iron phosphate battery pack. Robots are cool, but this rocket ship definitely one-ups most of the Maker Faire bots. The Raygun Gothic Rocket is a retro-futuristic creation whose provenance rests firmly in the space age aesthetic of the mid-20th century. The rocket is 40 feet tall, 15 feet wide, and has three decks inside. It's designed to carry its inhabitants not into orbit, but rather into another state of mind. Maker Faire also has special events in areas for young makers, who have worked to construct everything from a fire-breathing robotic dragon to a wicked Rube Goldberg machine. If projects like these inspire and entertain you, or if you're one of the creative hackers, tinkerers, crafters, or other makers, you should definitely check out Maker Faire. Maker Faire will be coming to Detroit on July 31st and August 1st, and the fair will be in New York on September 25th and 26th.